Welcome everybody to Book of Dawn Eye of Academy. I'm Tormentor by Gnomes. I'll be your game master today, as usual. Joining me, I've got my phenomenal cast consisting of Crowen, Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, and Necra. Crowen, what's going on with you? How are things? Uh, did some TFT casting last weekend, was cool, was good, doing the thing, um, and now back to IATH Academy, where everything is going great and nothing will ever go wrong. As usual. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm such a relative boomer that whenever I hear somebody say TFT, I still think of the Warcraft 3 expansion, which was one of the best games of all time. Goes <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, the hours I spent on custom games. <laughs> Anyways, that doesn't matter. Leg day. What's new with you? How are the queues treating you? Uh, queues are frustrating. It took me two hours to start my stream today. Uh, but that's no. just that's just launches, right? Just uh, waiting in queue. Luckily, I'm British, so it's in my genes, and um, I think that I have a, a class specialty for it. Excellent. Excellent. Plus five to uh, rolls to remain in queue. <laughs> Lemon, same thing with you. What else is going on? Yeah, uh, day off was productive. Bunch of errands and appointments. Just a adulting today. We can do it. We can adult. It's important, yeah. you know? We're... The way that I always try to explain this to my wife is that when you are a high-performing piece of equipment like a Ferrari or something, you require a lot of specialized maintenance in order to hit those things. So. Oh, he's calling me high-maintenance. Stop. <laughs> oh. Class no. Classic Joe Foot and Mouth Syndrome. Necro, <laughs> let's get, get me out of here. What's going on with you? Good. It's good. It's good. Um, I, I also did some self-care. I went shopping, so that's Ooh. always fun. Um, and yeah, now I'm here, which is great. So did you get me? Good, huh? Would I get you? you? Yeah. Would I get you? You're going to have to wait and find out at Grand Finals. Ooh. <gasps> At least New you gift just dropped. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. So when last we left our heroes, some, I feel like I say this every single time, but it's true every single time, some stuff was happening. If you're joining us for the first time, which is unlikely, but if so, welcome. Glad to have you. This is our fifth edition Dungeons & Dragons Magic School campaign. Our heroes are... 15 to 16, 14 to 16 years old right now. They're in their fifth year at IOTH Academy, the greatest institute of magical learning in the four kingdoms of Anakra. And they have had a very rough school year. They have been attacked by gods and fiends, and they found a buried evil underneath the school, like you do. Uh, there's been a load of trauma. They've just had a really rough school year. And just when it seemed like things were going to calm down, they absolutely did not. All of them are now attending special lessons with certain high-ranking members of the faculty in order to prepare them for the danger that is to come. Specifically, when we last left our heroes, Ariana had traveled to the Grove, the place where she spent her first year at IOTH Academy, a floating forest for the younger students. Beautiful forest, flowing rivers, just this very dappled light streaming down through the leaves, the smell of fresh earth, all that good stuff. She went there to practice the new magic that she's been studying with her master, Sig, Arcane Botany, using her magic, which is normally takes the form of fire, and transforming it to make plants grow and flourish instead. Uh, it didn't go quite right. Necro, what happened? I... I'm not sure. I just set the garden <laughs> on fire. Wouldn't be the first time. No, it's really not Deja the first time. <laughs> like the worst part about it is I don't know what happened and I don't know what I did. But the grove is on fire and there are more consequences from that. As an elemental was pulled through the channel, the connection to the elemental wellsprings accidentally created when Ariana tapped into this magic, she made a hasty retreat only to run into a Lozrin, a sixth year student on the stairs, who, seeing a chance to perhaps get revenge for the way that she told him to shut the hell up the last time they met, told a nearby warden, one of the guardians of the school, that Ariana is particularly good at handling fire-related disasters. So, un not knowing that she was the one who caused it, the wardens grabbed her and took her back to the scene of the crime to ask her for help dealing with it. Chad Chaddington, bravest and most heroic and most square-jawed and 
molded of ass of all the wardens, uh, <laughs> joined the fight attempting to defend, but more beings kept being pulled through this rift down to the elemental wellspring. So as we rejoin our heroes, Chad Chaddington is charging into battle between a fire elemental and a water elemental that are both clashing in huge bursts of steam it's late, late at night here at the Academy, but a new figure just joined, a creature, an enormous floating elemental being wearing rich silk and multicolored robes, its head and hands that of a fish, and its lower torso is just a spiral of water. And it arrived demanding justice for Dubasif, uh -huh. who met an oh. ill and undeserved fate. Now, Ariana, Chad Chaddington, and these two, is Ariana even on this map? Where did I'm Where'd hiding. She at, though? <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna touch the rest of this because I don't. I, I, I did enough None of damage. My business. <laughs> oh, I, You're I like on a foam finger, but it's like chat number one. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm this, here. The scene: midnight, fire and water clash forces, and an enormous bloated water genie emerges demanding justice for its fallen comrade. I will have recompense for the ignoble fate that has befallen the great and wise Dubasif. Chad Chaddington looks over at him for a moment, dumbfounded, his incredibly sculpted jaw with just a little bit of five o'clock shadow dropping open long enough for the water elemental to smack him on the back of the head and he face plants into the garden as the two elementals continue struggling against each other, completely ignoring the new arrival. Ariana, what are you doing? Well, I was just keeping out of this. How far am... out of this? Like leaving out of this or on the periphery out of this? On the periphery, I just, like, I created the water elemental that I don't think people knew it was me, but I don't want to be associated or here <laughs> or responsible. So I'm, like, by a tree. <laughs> Easily done. Are you hiding? No, I'm just not forward <laughs> <laughs> okay the yeah hmm. yeah that's perfect i'm like here <laughs> okay the marid walks forward looks disdainfully at the fire elemental and then puffs off its enormous fish cheeks and casts create water by going and just spewing it on the fire elemental which hisses and bubbles and sputters as he extinguishes it with his spew. Psh! I spit on you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he then walks over and grabs Chad Chaddington by the cuff of his armor and lifts him into the air. Wretched mortal, are you the one responsible for imprisoning my cousin? Uh, I'm, uh, actually, I'm, uh, uh, uh Chad Chaddington. Warden number 353. Uh, I think that's all I'm supposed to say when I'm captured. I can't remember the training. <laughs> the Marge shakes him and his armor jingles. <laughs> Ariana, are you going to remain hidden? You don't have yeah. to do anything. I just want to give you the opportunity. No, I'm going to just sit and wait. <laughs> <laughs> See all what's right. happening. All right, all right. Well, let's see if anything else is happening. Behold, an act of God. It's actually being hidden. There we go. Favorable wind. A moment of respite and clarity. Okay. All right. These tend to work out in Ariana's favor most of the time. Are you down any spell slots, any resources, anything of the sort? I believe I am, like, out of level threes. Okay. All right. That might change okay. in a moment. Let me just take a look here. Oh. Oh, I'm out of level three spells. Mm -hmm. Because you got the one and your fireball has been deployed. Yes. Okay. No, well... I got two, but Ooh. they're both gone. Because I used fireball to 
kill the grove and and i no i use plant growth to kill the mm -hmm. grove and i also use tidal wave to try to that's right that's right put out the yeah okay well you can have your spell slot back as the energy coursing through the area sort of flows back up through the ground into you yeah i deserve that <laughs> <laughs> and the marid is going to say you will give me a complete account of what fate has befallen Dubasif, and of what court of justice in which he was tried for our, our sense of justice has yet to be satisfied. Our courts have not been impelled, and the indignity inflicted upon him shall be revisited tenfold upon you, should you not make recompense. And as it holds Chad Chaddington, water begins to swirl beneath it. You recognize this as the same effect that Dubasif would use when he was going to teleport the lot of you via pools of water. Oh, at this point, I jump out. Uh, oh, your, your honor, your honor. Hi, you don't, you don't know me, but I had the honor and pleasure of meeting Dubasif once upon a time. And I can assure you that Chad Chaddington here has not had anything to do with Dubasif's imprisonment or disappearance. Well, persuasion check for me, please. Hmm, a 10. I don't think there's anything in the pipe for that yet. Unless you've got some inspiration that you want to use. Stored uh, up from anywhere. No. Okay. I think I have anything. A 10. Very well then. You shall be held to account instead. And the Mard flings Chad Chaddington to the ground. He smacks into a tree and slumps down. And the Mard begins, the elemental, as if following the Mard's bequest, begins to flow towards you, Ariana. I will, uh, which, wait, which one? Uh, the water elemental. The fire elemental is gone. It's been extinguished. The water elemental is heading oh, directly cool. towards. Great. We love that. Um, I will use destroy water. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, okay. That, um, I'm pretty sure that works. Can you drop that spell in chat for me? But I could, I could use three, I could use a third, I could use it as a level three spell slot. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure, okay, where are the rules for this? I know there's rules, specific rules for this. Where is this? I've never seen this interaction before. <laughs> Panicked. I'm like, I'm positive that this works. Okay, so you're destroying... 30 gallons of water. Okay. Yes. How many cubic feet is 30 gallons <laughs> of water? You're making Joe do math. Five oh. cubic feet. Uh, okay, so it's just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna take away uh, like a third of his hit points. Sure. <laughs> Make it, it gets smaller too, right? Yes, it, it, like it, it, it shrinks like down. It continues to walk towards you and then parts of it just evaporate into nothingness. And then the rest of it, it's like you made holes in it, but then it sort of reforms into this much smaller elemental as it walks towards you. How dare you destroy my servants? And at that well, exact- Well, technically, I created your servant. Take home so I can destroy seven. him too. You merely ripped it from its rightful place with your mortal magics, foolish child. Who and are you? <laughs> Who am I? I am the great and imperative Nud Laudu. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Cool story, bro. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Inventive parents you've got. If you will not answer for the crimes inflicted against Dubasif, 
Yes, yes, this, this young scion and the winds that entwine her. This will do, this will do. Justice will be served. Yes, yes, you will do. And the mini water elemental continues to advance towards you. I'm going to use Thunder Wave. Get clapped. <laughs> clapped, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the mini water elemental is going to roll a constitution saving throw. That is a constitution. One hundred percent a bitch. <laughs> All right. So it takes ten points of thunder damage, and it gets blasted away from you. Cool. Yeah. And at that exact moment, as Laudu is about to continue raging up against you for a variety of different crimes, there is a loud bang from nearby and the sound of a horrible, horrible musical instrument. Ladu plugs his hands over his ears and then turns around, searching for the source of the wretched noise. His focus is not on you for a moment. Oh, that's good to know. I will start to... Run away! <laughs> <laughs> All right, are are you literally just booking it? Is that the strategy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good luck, Chad. I'm off. Okay. <laughs> I'm running away. Oh, far, wow. far away. <laughs> okay, so you start running through the forest. <clears throat> Don't just stand there, you fool! Get her! And the water elemental is no longer moving very quickly, but the genie flies incredibly fast with his whirlwind of water. His movement speed is 60, and I think yours is, what, 30? Yeah. So he's going to catch up to you very quickly unless you have a better plan than running away. If, he, if he's just following you, he's going to catch you real fast. But what if I spill grease on the ground? He's flying. It wouldn't help. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Throw grease at him. <laughs> yeah. M mess with his constitution. I, wait, I'll destroy grease. water then at level two. Okay, are, are you going to hit the genie with the destroy water? <laughs> the elemental is now so... It's been reduced in size, so it can't really keep up with you. But the okay, genie well, that's nice. is also an elemental and is also made of water. I uh, can. Oh, no, I don't know. I mean, it would hurt. The spell would hurt him. No doubt about that. I'll, I'll taunt story. him. I'll vocally taunt him. Like, yo, if, if, I don't know why you want me. I didn't do anything. Chad didn't do anything. I, I, I will hurt you if you keep chasing me. <laughs> As I'm still <laughs> okay, roll an inspiration. No, an intimidation check, please. A flat 10. You have been given inspiration from chat if you want to burn it. I might need that later. I will okay. not burn it You're gonna this hold time. It? All right. Ha! You may be worth nothing now, child, but someday when the winds within you build to a sufficient strength, perhaps you will be worth... And at that moment, in Tarselmoor Hall, down in the crypts, as Garnet and Master Elnau are going about their lessons with a, a bit of an odd tension in the air, the, the overall... Concern over the forces of Brontha arriving and whether or not Garnet is going to leave is still a source of stress for both of them. But as they're going over their lessons, Elnau perks up. She puts a hand to her ear as if hearing a distant voice, Garnet. <sighs> I have to go. What? There's Where? There's a situation. In the grove. Uh, 
It involves Ariana and fire. I'm coming. I'm already coming. Starts walking out the door. Where are we going? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> get, 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 get back here, Garnet. Oh, what? what? We're not what? walking. Oh. Ooh. What are we, vibes? What are we doing? <laughs> she, hold, she holds out her hand. Grabs it. Taps the staff of Ioth three times on the ground. Tap, tap, tap. Gold runes flow out onto the ground beneath it, rise in a circle around you, spiraling and becoming brighter and brighter until everything around you, this dark shadowy crypt is completely obscured with light. And when that light clears, you are now in the grove. You see Ariana running and shouting over her shoulder and she runs directly into you, Garnet. Oh, like, oh, uh, hello? Oh. Cardio day? The death, mm, we gotta go. <laughs> Just pointing behind her and starts dragging Garnet's hand. Like, come on, let's go. Don't, don't look. Just, just run away. El now away. is standing directly next to her. Starts cracking her knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got target practice. Why are we running? Now you got me. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, big sister is here. <laughs> <laughs> pat, pat. <laughs> right. I actually don't know who's older, but <laughs> it's fine. I don't know if any, I'm like, I don't know if, uh, does Ariana even know her actual technical age? Nope. I don't think she does because, like, growing up with a bunch of elves, like, mm -hmm. she wouldn't, they wouldn't really know. Didn't you celebrate your birthday just on the day that you arrived at La Serre Refuge because you didn't know your actual birthday? Yes. Yeah, I remember you picking your own birthday, and it's a big deal to you. So, you have a number of birthdays counted, but it's only, like, 10 or 11 Twelve. birthdays. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in that range. All right. <laughs> Through the forest... Before you, floating imperiously, is another genie, not identical to Dubasif. Its clothes different, wearing a lot of gold and silver and platinum chains, jewelry, those things that go over your hand with the, like a chain between, almost like a chain glove jewelry thing. Those on each hand, massive earrings with chains dripping down from his huge frilled ears. And in one hand, he's holding... Uh, Chad Chaddington, who's swinging his mace, <laughs> but he's being held at arm's reach, so he can't really do much at the moment. Unhand me, intruder. <laughs> <laughs> Elnau puts up a hand as she sees Garnet cracking her fingers and says, Just a, just a, just a moment, just a moment. <clears throat> Excuse me, noble Marid. You're trespassing. And you are manhandling my men. <laughs> Garnet makes that face. <laughs> <laughs> I demand recompense for the loss and wrongful imprisonment of my cousin Duvalasif, the first. Did anyone ever read Elnau into what happened to Dubasif? I don't know what she knows anymore. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if we know. Do we know that Dubasif turned into something what? in the Undercroft? Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. collected we, we, we some Dubasif. Sample of Dubasif. You used it in one of your concoctions at one point. Oh, I thought I we told did. her about the Jester being Yeah, okay. Here. All right. All right, yep. I'm going to say she's up to speed on everything. You're welcome to take that up with me and file a formal complaint with the leadership of the school. The school has no leadership. There is no Archmage or Headmaster. Ayoth isn't here anymore. Well, I'm the interim headmistress, and as soon as the ceremony is complete, I'll be the official headmistress. So you can treat me like that. Yeah, tell him, boss. <sighs> Shut up, Chad. <laughs> <coughs> Why don't you put down the warden and come with me and I'll take you directly to our head diplomat and you can file your complaints like civilized sentient beings. And though she's speaking pleasantly, the staff of Ioth glows in her hands, the runes flowing around its polished surface. 
I'm not going to say menacingly, but I'm not not going to say menacingly. <laughs> okay. If it will satisfy the forms of your miserable mortal court, then I suppose I can deal with this frivolity. Ah, crunch! This Marin's a fucking Karen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, then. I will send for him immediately. Chad, this way. He runs over. Oh, no, looks down at Garnet and Ariana and says, I'm going to get Untermaler. He's going to take care of this. Don't say a word to anyone, all right? And we can tell this is not the same one from the Undercroft, right? Oh, yeah, this is not Dubasif. Wearing different clothes. Similar attitude, but it's not Dubasif, and it's not Gubasif either. And we're not getting any Jester vibes? Mm, how would you detect Jester vibes? If I destroyed the water, would I know? Like, if... Could I... If you completely I purged just... it, you'd be like, okay, we, we boiled it all away, and all that's left is the Jester influence. Jester power. Yeah. <laughs> Just like destroy a little bit of his water. Take a small out. sample. Yeah. <laughs> there there the are trace jester particles in this. If, if you want to cast destroy water on the Marid in order to take a sample, you can do that. Uh, <laughs> he may be displeased by it, but it may provide useful information. I leave that entirely up to you. Does uh, detect magic determine any infernal magic because you can determine the school of magic right. right um it may be able to you can use an arcana check to see if you can determine what types of magical energy are present because a school of magic is just a method of wielding magic but dawn energy fey energy etc those are all dif distinct so you could use detect magic if you wanted to could i use identify also identify you have it takes like 10 minutes or so to cast and you have to be touching the thing the entire time I mean, I could poke him. That'd be fun. <laughs> Just poke him for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so can uh, I hold your hand for 10 minutes? For no if, you, if you had a sample, maybe you could use identify. But you need to get a sample. Uh, and again, he, he kind of seems like he has an attitude. If, if Ariana does the tech magic, can I help her with knowledge? to get Yeah, you can advantage? triangulate it. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Detect from different angles and compare. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Okay. You can sense the presence of magical auras. You can see a faint aura around, well, everything. Ioth Academy is suffused with magic. There's definitely an aura surrounding the Marid. There's an aura surrounding what's left of the water elemental. And I'm going to have both of you roll arcana checks. And depending on your combined result, I'll give you different types of information. Do I get any advantage for, like, uh... Classifying Magical creatures. identity yes. stuff? Yes, okay. you can have advantage. A 23 from Ariana. Natural oh, 20. <laughs> okay, okay. Does a, 50, does a 53 clear? <laughs> no, it's a 28. <laughs> I'm just going to give you admin rights to the world anvil. Go nuts. Uh, so, <laughs> so, you see powerful elemental magic raw power from the wellsprings themselves a little bit of dawn energy flowing through the marid's veins but based on your studies you know that genies are the most powerful and wise of elementals aside from the titans and the sovereigns themselves and they carry with them a little bit of a spark of dawn magic which is how they're able to grant wishes it's part of their original duty which was to teach mortals when they arrived and were born with no knowledge one of the duties of the genies was to infer them with knowledge so they didn't have to sit around for 10,000 years inventing the wheel and such. Unfortunately, they're huge jerks, but them's the breaks. So you see this dawn energy flowing through his veins. You see this powerful elemental magic. You see a line of magic sort of tethering the genie to the elemental and a much stronger line of magic flowing from the elemental to Ariana. But you don't detect any infernal influence whatsoever. So it was my fault. <laughs> Why and you both keep... absolutely see this, by the way. You, you got those enormous, enormous skill results. It's almost like Ariana's magic went forth. And when you were just trying to manipulate water, 
Water magic comes from, usually it's drawn from the wellsprings at the heart of the underworld, which is where elementals live. When you reached for that power, it just pulled a lot more than you expected. It pulled this elemental out. When you were reaching for a little tidal wave, ripped out an entire elemental. When you were reaching, when your fire magic accidentally procced, it didn't just flow from you. It reached all the way down into the underworld and grabbed a ton of fire and came back with it, including an elemental. And the Marid, this genie, shouldn't be able to arrive here. Ioth Academy is still technically protected by the dome, even if it's weakened. But it, it, <laughs> it caught... I know, yeah, most protected place on Earth. Been attacked 12 times this year. Sue me. Yeah. Safe smile. Exactly. Any safers in chat? But the Marid essentially hitchhiked mm -hmm. on that pole of magic. When the water elemental came up, it sort of followed along with it. It drafted behind it, and that's how it was able to arrive. And there's your natural 20. I just like the part where you say you came down a pole. I just <laughs> stuck to that. Elemental <laughs> <laughs> stripper! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Can I get fan art of uh, Dubas pole dancing, please? I'm going to file a request for that. Oh, Duba queen. <laughs> Duba cheeks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> are we? Are we done here, El Now? Or uh, uh, El Now is going to handle this whole situation. She told you not to talk to anybody meaningfully because she knows what happened. She knows the truth. She knows you know the truth. Don't talk about that to anyone. This is a careful, tense diplomatic situation. All right. But I'll take care of this. I'll get into Mahler on this. Official diplomatic negotiations. The two of you go ahead and uh, get yourselves out of here to safety, all right? Okay. This is all <laughs> under control. If he does anything, I'll fry him. What, did okay. you do? what about the water elemental? Do you want me to uh, kill it? <sighs> did we fine. kill that? It's fine. He should have control over it. And if anything it does, is he's responsible for. So. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, turns to walk away. Well, we should go find Athelor and Mason anyway. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think so. You want to go knock on some doors at uh, midnight? Let them know what's up? Yes. Okay. When <laughs> they make the trip, and it takes like at least half an hour, maybe more, because you have to go all the way from the grove, through the floating stairs, through one of the weird gravity oh, Can we ask things. her to TP us? Like, for fuck's sake, can <laughs> we just you, get you, uh, I'll now to... You know? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a... <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't... Mm. Roll persuasion check, Garnet. <laughs> don't, don't... Trust, trust me, you're not walking. You're not walking. A 20. Nice. Okay. <laughs> she is going to... Pulls what reaches into her pouch and pulls out a small golden pendant on a chain with one of Ioth's runes on it. Take this to a caretaker. You're going to need one too. She gives one to Ariana as well. Time to rock. Oh. <laughs> okay. Any instructions for this? Just show them to a caretaker. <laughs> tell them where you need to go. They'll arrange for the rest. Okay. All right. Uh, the Marid is behind, bubbling all sorts, just a list of grievances. And El now just holds up a hand and says, this isn't the formal, the proper place. Wait till we're in court before you bring all this up, all right? I shall be heard now. Yes, yes. Like it or not. Go, go, go. We go, go. And you're welcome to walk off back to the grove where all the little first through fourth years are and grab a caretaker, unless there's something else you'd like to do. <clears throat> all right. No. What was the grove fire status like, just for any of us who might have seen it out of a, a window in Tarselmoor? Uh, the was there... explosion was pretty <laughs> large, so there would have been a flicker of light, but you got to imagine the dome, the golden sphere is like a mile in diameter. And the ring is pretty high. You know, I wonder if I can pull this up. All right. While I'm doing, while I'm pulling this up, consulting the Book of Armaments, 
when the two of you bring that gold pendant to a caretaker, the caretaker goes, oh, oh, well, what is it? This way. Oh, is this like VIP? Leads you to the like library in the grove. Walks into the back near a small cupboard, just a little closet full of extra parchment and quills and such. Looks left, looks right, draws a rune across the door. The door melts into mist. And then, where did you need to go? The Tarselmore. All right, come on. Past the wall of mist inside this chamber, which is a little bit, it doesn't fit. This thing is at the back, it's a little closet at the back of the library. This is a chamber at least 10 feet wide that goes, it's round and it's made of stone. It's not this wooden construction you're used to in the grove. There's obviously some extra dimensional pocket nonsense going on here. And on the floor, well, is a circle of runes engraved into the stone and inlaid with various precious metals. Arcana checks from the two of you, please. Ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> All right, a dirty 20 from Ariana you. and a 10. Thanks. <laughs> Ariana, this is a teleportation circle. They are patterns, and there's a fifth level spell. It's second circle magic. You're, it's going to be a while before you get to that point. But there is a spell that if you draw, this, this is a circle with very specific runes and patterns in it, right? If you know this circle's patterns, and you cast that spell and draw the same runes on the ground in chalk, you can teleport from anywhere. To this circle waypoint oh yeah it's a, Dude, it's a waypoint we, Diablo we've got waypoint. home port to lumbridge finally <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> cool so and, just the walk and so once you arrive there the caretaker is going to stand at a particular point and say <clears throat> tarsal more and more runes float up as if from within the stone, glowing light, and it's a completely different circle pattern. And it spins three times, and then locks into place. Step on in. Steps in. All right. And once the two of you are in, the caretaker says, proceed. And it's, it reverses its spin three times. There's a flash, and you find yourself standing in an identical chamber, except with no caretaker. And there's a door that leads out to somewhere. Fun. Sh should, should we write this down? I think you Ariana, should. Ariana like points to the floor. You're the wizard. You should, don't what? you have a wizard book? True. I will <laughs> take a, I'll take a rough sketch of the, <laughs> the teleportation okay. circle into my notebook. All right. Add... And also the rune from... The door that okay, roll an put. intelligence check because that was swiftly drawn in the air. And unless True. Ariana automatically I will has help like... her. Okay, <laughs> okay. Both of you roll <laughs> intelligence <laughs> checks to remember what that looked like. Flat intelligence. <laughs> oh yeah, Ariana, you've got that on lock. Garnet is just <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Ariana. You remember the room that was used to open the closet in the first place? And nobody's bothering you in here, so you have time to take out your book and literally sketch the entire pattern for the Tarselmore teleportation circle. Write that down somewhere. May come in handy someday. Write that down, write that down. Uh, yeah. Teleport fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, according to the map of Jenkitude, the grove is the highest of the four um, lodges. So it actually floats above the ring. So the fire would largely have been obscured by the underside of the grove. I'm going to give you a perception check to notice the glow of the fire up against the sphere in the very top. The reflection time. But it's going to be a, a, a bigger ask at this point. Yeah, it's like midnight, so odds are it would probably just be someone seeing and then going, Dude, the grove's on fire, bro! <laughs> <laughs> a fire. That's wicked, man! Uh, no such. Your eyes are actually closed. At this I'm, just time. In, I'm just in my room. <laughs> it's midnight. Eyes are closed. It mm -hmm. is blind light. No, don't care. Not hearing. I'm getting some sleep. Sleep mask on. 
headphones on, and you're playing. <laughs> Not tonight. Not tonight. All right. W which takes us back to Garnet and Ariana, who are in this circular stone room with a teleportation circle on the ground and one door leading out. Did you get all that? I think so. Yeah. I think we're good. You have plenty of time to check your notes. I'll double check my notes. <laughs> yeah. You're golden. You're covered. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's go wake up Athel and Mason and tell them the crazy shit you've been up to. True. I guess I should fill you in too. Yeah, let's go get them first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> Garner just assumes she already knows everything that's going on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pretty sure I can piece it together, Angry Genie. In the grave. Yeah. Well. All right. So when the two of you emerge from that small door, you find yourself stepping into the records room in Tarselmoor Hall. Out of a very similar supply cabinet. It's on the ground floor. It's very close to... I can actually put us there in a moment here. Uh, it's very close to your rooms, all things considered. Yeah. Could... Is anybody around? Not in this room. Not this late at night. Can I turn around and practice the rune? Yeah. Yeah, you can. To open up the door? Mm-hmm. As you trace over it, it melts into mist. Oh, we learned a new skill. Oh! So we can go back to the grove anytime. I, or anywhere, probably. Who knows how many of these are around? I think you just have to say where you want to go and then proceed. I don't know. That's what the caretaker did. I wonder if that's how Sventisco was sneaking out. I never wonder how she did that. I did wonder that. I always thought it was just through the undercroft and then like out of the circle. Well, it feels dangerous down there. We did see the, you know, Goobasee caps. And the, yeah, Goobasee. those ones. Yeah. Seems dangerous. Yeah. Somewhere, Cryas's face hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can just, we can ask her another time. Well, yeah, we're working with the Kiz John now. Or we could just ask Mason. Yeah. Get the yeah, tea. Mason tea for tea. Exactly. See, I could trade my tea. For the Sventisco tea. Girlfriend tea, yeah. There you go. <laughs> right. Totally. Let's go wake them up. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right. The door is locked at this time of night, but not from the inside, only from the outside. So you're able to make your way out. And are you attempting to be stealthy? There should be care wardens or caretakers or somebody keeping an eye on things this late at night. Oh, is it a records room? Yeah, Wait it's a records a room. <laughs> Hold Wait. up a second. She just like does a quick 180 before the door closes. And wait a minute. <laughs> One second runs in, grab this is two folders. Uh there's a second. You see these two record rooms here? Yeah. The uh -huh. student folders are kept inside this room. The inner oh, chamber. Oh, what's there this are, one then? Uh this one is lesser things, administrative records, r records for students who have been not here for a long time. Active student records are kept beyond here, and this door is locked. Do you have anything that can handle a locked door, either of you? I'm going to try the rune. On the oh, door. okay. <laughs> on the other side of the room. <laughs> when, you, when you trace it, when, when the caretaker traced it on that door, that little cupboard door, it glowed, like the finger glowed and traced it in the air. Here it's just you're poking a door. Oh, well, that's lame. <laughs> Well, just like coughs and Noir just slips on the other side of the door, <laughs> turns the knob. Okay. <laughs> and it opens. Ah, well, that was easy. All right. So it's going through the student records. Who do you want to know about? <laughs> well, I, I, well, I figured this was more for you. I'm going to go keep watch in case anybody comes in. Well, the and door's I'll locked. You know, we'll hear it jiggle, them. and I got that. Good point. Get out of what, jail, what are you free for? stealth spell. Um, I don't know. Just looks through and pulls out Mason's folder, Sventisco's folder, Athelor's folder. Well, roll an <laughs> investigation my? check hey. to find these. Oh, roll an investigation okay. check to find like a specific folder. Uh, <laughs> a ten. 
That means it's going to take you a while to do any finding. Oh. A 19, if you're not on lookout, Ariana, you could absolutely pull one for free. I can't yeah, read. I'm, I'm I'll, I'll take watch. <laughs> okay. Well, then, Ariana, who's, uh, whose record are you looking for? I'll ask, uh, I'll ask Garnet. Like, wh who do you want to know about? Well, if Mace is our new bestie and we don't want another Alex situation, <laughs> you know, we should just make sure he didn't come from some kind of criminal background. Or That feels unethical, Garnet. Best you want me to ask him directly? Check, best friends. I, I feel like it hurt Wouldn't his feelings. Would you rather know what's an hour? <gasps> I think we should know what's an hour. Are you files. ego searching in the records wait. room? Yeah, I'm ego searching in the records room. They said they had dirt on us in our records. Oh, wait, you're wrong. But what if my feelings get hurt? Who wrote it? Well, I'll, I'll look mine. Okay, first. let's do yours first. <laughs> okay. I'll find my record. This is your fault, gnomes. Okay, you put us in the records. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh and chat plays the Despair's Herald card. I'm already and, gonna be despaired. You didn't have to play that. It's a good one. A harmful lie is uncovered by happenstance. That is perfect. Oh. Okay, so with that 19, you can pull one record right now. What record are you pulling, Ariana? Mine. You're pulling your record? Yeah. Okay. Parts of it are sealed. With a, there's a wax seal on it. Inside your, your folder, there's several scrolls all together. And one of them has a seal on it. Like a wax seal. Open it. Open it. <laughs> Open it. Uh, we can melt the wax right back. He got some fire stuff. We can make it look like it, and it was never open. There's a sigil True. imprinted on the wax seal. What's the sigil? A magical symbol of some sort. Is, can I make a roll to see? Yeah, if you I can roll Arcana to see if you've come across it. A natural <laughs> one. Can uh, I help? <laughs> Garnet, what is this? The, the symbol oh. appears to look like an L. <laughs> <laughs> roll, uh, Garnet, go ahead and roll an Arcana check. I got you. We got each other's right. rolls, man. <laughs> As Ariana is poking with it and like peeling it off to get a better look at it, Garnet, you realize that is an alarm spell. Stop, 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 stop. 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 Uses the spell magic on it. Oh, that's right. You have that now. Mm, and it works instantaneously because it's only a level one spell. So <laughs> you dispel the alarm spell. Why would they have that on a record well maybe it's are you the criminal you would have told me right i well, i would have told you but i don't know if the things that i did are criminal or not they haven't told uh, me that. So <laughs> this okay. is definitely illegal for the record <laughs> can i get a perception check from both of you please you hear footsteps out in the hallway you know when you can like recognize a familiar adult's footsteps? <laughs> can I recognize the familiar adult's footsteps? Roll, roll an insight check. Oh, you bitch. Nope. Can I lucky <laughs> dice it? Yeah, you can lucky can dice I... it. It's really important. Mm. That's the stomp, stomp, stomp of a, of a... Like hooves? No, it's not hooves. It's not hooves. Oh. That guy's busy. He's busy talking with an elemental envoy right now. Oh, he was supposed to go God. meet with the Marid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I had different plans, um, but it doesn't sound like an adult. It sounds. It sounds <laughs> smaller than that. Shh, the door's locked. It's fine. Okay. Ariana What's it just say? Just, <laughs> I, I just open up the file. <laughs> All right. You open up the file and it starts with some of your basic information, Ariana. It's got your name, you were raised in La Serre, names of your parents, uh, date that you arrived. It looks like they must have talked to your mothers a lot and gotten a lot of information about your early life, your aptitudes, how like what situations you thrive in, what challenges you, <laughs> what frightens you. Mostly stuff that seems like it should be, you know, just to make sure that you had a good school experience. 
And then the script completely changes hands. It goes to a, a totally different hand writing it. Roll, neither of you are, do you have calligraphy? Garnet, yeah, do you do I calligraphy? Do. Great. Yeah, Roll I a calligraphy do. skills uh, tools check with intelligence. 15. You've seen this before. You might have even have tried to replicate this before. I can't remember. That's Untermaler's writing. Oh, that's Untermaler. Huh? Writing, writing about you. And at oh, first that sentence it says, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Under no circumstances allow near plants. Uh, the door in the records room quietly swings open. We didn't even hear the pick being, a lock being picked? No, oh, whoever it was, they're quite good. Oh, motherfucker. Not the door to your room. Remember, there's two oh. rooms here. The door to the outer room opens. What do you do? I put my ear up to the door. Okay, roll a perception check. A 13. Hmm. Versus a... Oh my god. <laughs> Bank sessions over the table. Oh. You ah. hear <laughs> footsteps. Somebody trying to be quiet. And a, 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 something gets knocked over, something gets bumped into, and starts to wobble. You hear a swear. You know it's a swear. What languages do you speak? Uh, common, Celestial, Infernal. Don't recognize it. Ariana? Common and Alfar. Mm -mm. Not something you recognize. What do we recognize? The voice. Roll insight checks, both of you. Garnet, you'd recognize that voice anywhere. It's Ventisco. I knew it. I knew she was sneaking out of this place using the teleporter. I knew it. Should we, should we go confront her? Yes. No. Hey, <gasps> no. Wait. We know. We have more tea. <laughs> we have more tea. Wait. Do you want to confront her? Are you trying to keep this for blackmail? You have to say it. That way. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's leverage. Leverage. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Well, we could just listen to see what she's doing. Okay, well, maybe because we have to hear where she's going. Yeah. That, right. Yes. We'll listen to okay. see if we can hear where she's going. As all of this is happening, Athelor, what's your night like? What's your night? How's your night going so far? It's past midnight. <laughs> it's like near 1 a.m. at this point. Are you just trancing and if so what about uh i think athlaw is probably like uh going over his like book of runes again mm -hmm. and he's 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 tracing them getting his practice in for when in his mind he's gonna get the quill back even though it's quite unlikely but man can dream mm -hmm. <laughs> and just doing some generalized studying because he only needs four hours a night so he's he, he can do his bookworming okay just in your studies Grinding away at things. Mason, um, Sventisco left a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And she told you where she was going. Uh, I'm not going to tell you right now because I don't want to spoil <laughs> yeah. the surprise. But you know where she's going. And okay. you know, in fact, she might get in trouble doing this. But you understand her reasons for doing it. Did you go with her or did you stay behind? <sighs> Um, I, I, I think generally when Sventisco goes to do these things, she has the like kind of passive, like, I'm going to do this alone. Am I right in assuming that? Yeah, quite often, quite often. And if Mason had suggested like, oh, like, can I come with you? Like, is that okay? Like, what, what would she have said? Roll persuasion check. I just want okay. to see where the dice fall. Sure, sure. Uh, persuasion 14 and I, I think uh, Mason would have phrased it like um, like well, I guess it depends on where she's going but something oh, the hall of records <laughs> okay okay and she's not supposed to be in there but honestly she could use a lookout sure yeah would would, would, would offer to go with yeah okay 
All right. Where's him? There he is. What? Stealth check on pathing past Athelon's room? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I... Roll a stealth check for me, Mason. Sure. Mason's not very stealthy, but 14. What's your passive perception, Athelor? Oh, uh, my passive perception is 13, and I rolled another two. <laughs> <laughs> well, you that weren't here. two in a row. It's been a few days. You've absolutely got some lucky dice if you want to throw that out there. Oh, true. Might as well. You know, for one lucky die, lucky I'm just going to say because it's been an hour and you haven't been able to do jack, you here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There you go. The dice agree with me. <laughs> Boom. Okay, I'm so gonna peek out the door as he uh, about probably about ten seconds after he hears the stealth, like a, a notably hushed moving. Like mm -hmm. there are people who are moving, and there are people who are moving who do not want to be heard moving. Exactly, you can hear them in their minds humming the in the hall of the mountain king. <laughs> 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 Yeah, students out of bed. Absolutely, students out of bed in the hallway. What is Athelor going to do about that? You poked your head out. You would have seen Mason creeping along nonchalantly. He's on lookout duty. He doesn't have to act. So he's, you know, act fly casual. Just pokes his head out the door. Mason? Oh, uh, hey, Athelor. What, uh, what's, what's going on with you? Uh... Not much in my room at midnight. You? Not in my room at midnight. Um, Curious. For, yeah. Mm hmm. Didn't. I should have thought about this. I didn't expect to. S um, okay, let's think about this. <laughs> Up ahead, you see Sventisco reaching down and pulling out some of the equipment that she got from her contact, Kepesk, in town and applying it to the door to the Hall of Records all the way down the hall, out of eye shot of Athelor because of the way that the stairs are positioned. But, like, <laughs> she's in the middle of, you know... <laughs> you can keep a secret, right, Athelor? Athelor opens the door fully, kind of slips out, and closes it very quietly behind him. Yes. Are you sure? And, and as they're having this conversation, Athelor is, like, slowly rounding this way. <laughs> Imagine Mason before you talk, he's sort of shifting Sorry. left to right to block Sventisco all the way down, like all the way down the corridor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Athelor doesn't establish line of sight. Like he's not wrapping around Mason here. Yeah, I can keep. I can keep a secret, of course. All right, I'm um, supposed to be watching for people who would prevent this, but I don't think you would. So I think you're okay. Um, just go in some places where probably shouldn't and yeah that's the plan for tonight god you really are the new member of the circle aren't you yes uh question how did the uh account of the codex meeting go they voted to they voted in favor of pursuing a Provisional alliance with the kids, John, for the mutual benefit of the academy. Cool. Yeah. Um. Did you get to do any more of those private lessons? Is that what you're going off to? Is that speak secret? No, but I did want to do that actually because I saw some strange things yesterday, and that reminds me of it now. Probably should do that, but no, it's I'm helping um Spintisco with with something. You waiting for her here? Um, watching out for her here. Okay, Athlon now tries to like <laughs> curry in his neck. <laughs> it's just Mason time just... for you to see. Unless, yeah, I was gonna say, unless Mason's doing one of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> all right, all right. Roll perception check opposed by a deception or sleight of hand check. Perception for Athlon, deception or sleight of hand for Mason. Slide of head. Oh. Slide of head. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh dude. my god. Absolutely. That is the one. Absolutely. Completely. I think hilarious. I might be in love with Mason, just like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, I'll uh, feel. Just hold there for momentarily. I'll let you know later if it's okay, but 
just just hold 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 for now uh -huh. the door opens and then shuts with a gentle click as Santisco successfully enters then stubs her toe almost knocks over one of the benches catches it before it clatters and says a naughty naughty word in draconic <laughs> Mesa turns around, sees coast is clear, and sighs a little bit. Says, <clears throat> "Okay." Um, and then kind of gestures to Athlor to look if he wants to. And there's nothing there. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a real nice corridor you're enjoying there. I uh, yep, <laughs> that it is. I'm not great at lying about things. So I'm not trying to lie about it, but I want to protect Svantisco's privacy, you know? Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you need to stay here until she summons you? Until she's ready to go, vacate, finds the things... I thought kind of smirks so and then just like leans back against all like, okay, th th this is vaguely intriguing. He's not going to make too much conversation, but just like <laughs> looking at Mason like, you're fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> so you're staying there then? I mean, I basically live here. That That is true. You live like three doors down. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, everything. This is. Mm -hmm. Well, then, can you help keep lookout, too? You look that way, I look that way. Yeah, part of a team. Part, part, of, the, part of the team. Thanks, Athlor. <laughs> the team. Yeah. I like that. Athlor will look out in the direction. Okay. <laughs> Casually looking behind back towards the dorms as Mason keeps an eye towards the front doors of Tarsimore Hall. Meanwhile, inside the Hall of Records... Svintisco is making her way and now attempting to work the lock in the room that the two of you are in. As you have this scroll and you see Untermaller's report that he's writing, and it starts with regarding the pyromantic incident in La Serre Refuge. And you get that far in reading it, and then you hear Sven you hear the lock. Did you lock the door uh, after you went in? No. Uh, okay. So, but you still hear her like working lock picks in the door. It's going to take like a very like stern stance of like, I'm, you know, when you, you sneak back into the house and the parents are waiting for you, yes, like that, yes. that stance and just okay. waits. What about <laughs> Ariana? Area. Uh, I think Ariana might be. She knows, I guess she knows Fantisco is there, but she's more intrigued about what's in the file. Mm -hmm. um, but she will close the file, close the doors like that are in the mm -hmm. room and hide the file somewhere else and then stand by Garnet. On, on your person or somewhere in the, uh, in the shelves? I like stuff it under my shirt. Okay. <laughs> At that moment, the lock, like, and the door swings open, and you see Sventisco has a big old skeleton key in her mouth and two picks in her hand, and the door swings open. She looks at it. She looks up. Garnet, roll an intimidation check for not being oh. mad, just being disappointed. <laughs> hmm. Twelve. Ariana is also sitting there with her arms crossed. Okay. <laughs> Give me that intimidation check for for Stern. Also a 12. <laughs> same pose. But same double pose. the fun. Double the fun. Just Angiana. <laughs> Darn it. Ariana. What the f are you doing here? What are you doing here? What the? And tries to repeat the draconic word she heard. <laughs> what the? Uh, are you doing here? <laughs> None of us are supposed to be here. What are you yeah, but we were here because we were we were we were brought here. 
So we are actually supposed to be here. You're not supposed yeah. to be here. We didn't have to pick a lock. But why are you picking locks? Give me a uh, persuasion, please, because the the intimidating <laughs> grumpy didn't go over too well. She's she's oh, fairly kitty. okay. She's a twenty five from Garnet girlfriend. and a sixteen from Ariana. She says, "Look, I know they let me back into school and everything, but I just I want to see what they have in my file. I want to see what they wrote too. about." Starts looking through. Oh, we were just gonna actually. I was gonna look mine, and she was gonna look through hers. Do you want to see yours? And it's like excitingly looking through the records. Are you sure you're supposed to be here right now? Do you want to see a record or not? I mean, yes. Well, you're They're... here, so we could all get in trouble, okay. or we could all look at our records and try to get out of here together. Okay, but they okay. have like alarm spells on them, so let's just be careful opening stuff. Okay. All right. All right. And Aaron goes back to her corner and, and sits with her phone. <laughs> all right. So Antisco went from like, what the hell are you doing here to, oh, co-conspirators. Okay. All right. <laughs> we take we this to our graves. We all get blood on our hands. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, out in the corridor, Athelore and Mason just. <laughs> <laughs> it's like girl talk. Yes, yeah, slay or whatever is going on in the room. <laughs> so good. And, and then men being together like. The yassification good. of doing crime. <laughs> and then that good weather we're having out here, huh? With the dad poses outside. <laughs> God, that reminds me of every neighborhood barbecue I've been to. Paul's there in his fucking oh sandal. <laughs> Over a grill. Exactly. They're all just like, mm. yep, it's ready to flip. <laughs> That's some good meat. <laughs> All right, Garnet, roll an investigation check to search for your file. Yay. Oh, 26. Easy. All right, Ariana. Untermaler has written a report on the garden fire that you caused initially. And he is the one who recommended that this file be sealed because it is clear to him. And this is all written like about you from the third person, obviously. It's his analysis and report to the rest of the, the teachers that you have a strong, unexplained connection to the underworld. And that the nature of that power indicates titanic influence at some point. But the exact operators involved are not completely known. And due to the ongoing conflict and tension between Lacerre and Anderud, it is best that we remove her from the refuge, put her under our care, and keep her as focused as possible on her studies, both so that we can understand her capabilities and make sure she doesn't pose a threat to anybody, and so that if anything happens to Lacerre, she will be safe. Hang on a second. Isn't Athelor from Onderud? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so forbidden. Oh, geez. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Was it Leia and what's his face that kissed? That were brothers, sisters? No, no. This is a Romeo <laughs> Juliet thing. This isn't a this oh, isn't a Game of Thrones thing, goddammit. Oh, this is Game of Thrones. No, no. no. It's like Wrong related. forbidden romance. Wrong forbidden romance. Oh. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> no, not the spicy family tree gang. <laughs> Is that why we're all blondes? Okay, I get it. <laughs> God damn it. Somebody get me out of here. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what is written in there. And that he hopes that by having important people from both Lacerre and Anderud, he can train them to be ambassadors to resolve these ongoing tensions before anybody gets hurt. Oh, that's easy then. That's an easy ambassadorship. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Garnet, you have located your file. It is also sealed with a right. different symbol, a completely different symbol. Jet, it's got jet black wax traced with 
blue in it. This is El now. You immediately recognize that as El now's handiwork. And it's it's void magic. As somebody who knows void runes, you know that this seal basically has one inside of it. And if it's broken, the scroll will dissolve. Just like a, a, a void rune would get written on it. But you know this thing, you know these things. You're the one of the only people who could possibly fix this. So you're telling me to spell magic will make it dissolve? I'm saying you'd need to use an arcana check plus a dispel magic because only a void mage would be able to do this safely. I have one lucky thing left. Mm, you want to spend it? That I will burn. Okay. Before we, before we hopefully go night-night. And An 18. Okay. I'll dispel magic. Now I'm out of spell summons. Okay. You carefully reverse trace the void rune, erasing it so its power is gone, and crack open the seal, and the scroll is open for you. And it's completely blank. Why? But there are other scrolls in your file. It's not just that one. Why is this? What, what is it? Does it look touched? This is, a, this is a prank scroll. <laughs> I actually got pranked. It doesn't look touched. It doesn't look anything. Oh. Hmm. What if I do like a little like this, you know, where you like create a little dark spot mm -hmm. and I kind of look in to see if I creating that little dark spot i could ah okay all right <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah no i i know i know what you mean i know what you mean you're sort of folding it over and as you're going through it sventisco is still searching for hers give me a hand here oh okay i got you sure. all right uh, yeah roll an investigation check 27 you easily go over and you find it and she's oh. got a sealed file too and she swears to herself again and oh, that's uh that's unlucky because they're fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn, bro. I'm, so, I'm happy for you. I'm well, sorry that happened. <laughs> Whatever, didn't read. <laughs> okay. As you look through the darkness, you see written upon it a note. El now. You will assist my latest trainee in all things. You will allow no rule to stand between her and her advancement. You will teach her in our arts. You will destroy or interfere with any attempt to subvert or slow her. Mirik. Huh? She leaving oh. that shit in the records room? No one else could read it. No one else could unseal it. I probably will we'll like message this to Ariana and not be out loud with trauma. So, <laughs> um, oh. well, we both found out something interesting today. Mine explains a lot about what happened in the grove. There's a slight spark of blue light as Sventisco undoes the alarm spell on hers. Oh, can I tell if it was Dispel Magic? Yeah, it was Dispel Magic. She took that one as well. Oh, okay. Son of a bitch. She wants to get in. Her whole thing is she wants to like get into things and go places <laughs> yeah. she's not supposed to be. It's kind of a good spell for that. Mm -hmm. Good point. All right. She takes the scroll. She pulls out another scroll from her, a blank scroll from her pouch. Slaps the two of them, pulls out a quill, taps the quill twice on the one she just opened, then drops it on the other one, and it starts writing. And it starts copying her record word for word. Whoa. And then she rolls her record back up, uses mending, and seals the, the wax seal. The spell's gone, but, you know, the wax seal is back. Mends it shut and puts it right back where it was. Hey, I have that spell. After seeing Sventisco do that, she's like, oh, that's a good idea. 
Mm-hmm. And so Ariana will do the same and use mending on okay. her own girl. Again, that doesn't restore the magic on it, but it at least makes it less obvious. Ooh, Garnet, do you want me to... Oh, uh, yeah, one second. Uh, and reads for any, like, other information. Anything that could be, uh, I don't know, fudged. Mm. Any, any, anything fun that could be fudged. What do you mean? Like, you want to change something? You want to make a... You want to yeah, edit is there anything or? that, like, would be interesting to change? Hmm. Or is it just all basic, like, oh, I'm from here, and I'm this age, my Oh, in, in your is. full record, in your full record. Yeah, the oh, rest of it... Is in there. The rest of it, none of it mentions the fact that you're from Brontha. Uh, the first line of your record is, Origin Records Sealed by Order, a direct order of Master L now. Academic records only proceed. Change middle name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't record the fact that you're from Brontha. It doesn't record your original identity. Any of the, the stuff about the second miracle. It's literally, it's almost super cut and dry. It's super basic. Just your academic performance, any disciplinary, and no disciplinary actions either. Anything that like happened to you the entire time has been expunged. <clears throat> Is there anything in Ariana's record, if she wants to share the shit she did wrong, that she may want? Uh, every single time you've been brought in to talk to a caretaker is in there. Every single time. That whole like kitchen incident that happened. Obviously, they didn't get the full story, but that's logged in there. I forgot um, what happened during the kitchen incident. <laughs> uh, you talked your way out of it, basically, after the kitchen exploded. and uh, Oh, the kitchen exploded, and we ended up there because of Dubacy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was the one where Garnet drowned. Yeah, exactly. That was Slightly. the one where Garnet drowned. Yes. Slide drowning. Right. Mm-hmm. So mine is expunged, meaning the pages were just taken out, or it is record is completely clean written upon. Nope. There's actually literally blank spots that have been magically erased. <laughs> you should do that to yours. Look. Look. I, said, I, I, I Apparently like... I can get away with this. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Reading through, I feel like Ariana might start making connections that, like, the kitchen incident, if there's, like, water involved, like, Mm -hmm. I feel like she could probably write that off as underworld related. Like, everything Mm -hmm. might be explained by the Mm -hmm. sealed, the the sealed scroll. There has been a lot of weird elemental stuff that's happened with wind and fire and plants and water and all that crap around uh, your entire life, Ariana. So it's probably fine. I'm just going to leave it. It's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't know any better. The magic made me do it. Well, if you want to <clears> leave it there, do you think Athlor and Mason are going to want to know what's in theirs? I guess Francisco can take care of that. Well, we should at least look at Athlor's while we're oh, yeah. here. Just to tell him if there's anything, if there's anything bad. Weird. Exactly. Yeah, for his sake, for his safety, of course. Athelor, <laughs> <laughs> roll investigation check to look for that. I need oh to check God. back in with Athelor and Mason as they're out in the hallway. A ten from Garnet. Uh, is there anything transpiring between the two of you, or and you're both having trouble finding that record? Is there anything transpiring between the two of you, or just making awkward small talk at one a.m. in the hallway how, in the dark? How long has it been? At least ten minutes. Do you usually wait this long? Um, well, I don't usually wait at all because usually she wants to do these things alone, but this time she was okay with it. I think I've waited longer before. Why did and you decide on... to come this time? Athalor says as he like starts to walk down this way. Well, I would, I would go every time if it was my choice. Yeah, she doesn't seem like someone who really wants a protector. I mean, she doesn't need it, really, to be fair. I just worry a little, a lot, depending on the day. I, understandable. Yeah, that uh, seems like a reasonable thing to worry about. I thought I was going to... Sort of look over with a with a grimace towards this room where he's got his own personal history with it. 
Are yep. there any other major doors on this side, considering that, like, I assume we were, like, looking down this way? Like, what is this? Do we know what this room is? That's a demonstration room. Point to it again? Yeah, that's the demonstration room where magical effects and stuff can be displayed for um, tests and things along those lines. Okay, so this is probably the most uh, Svintisco-esque target. <laughs> yes, absolutely. There's not a lot else here. You know that the records are there. Everybody gets inspiration from the Kiss of the Scald, and everybody regains a spell slot or other resource thanks to favorable winds. Mm -hmm. Athol's going to cast Mage Hand and have it touch the door just on the handle to see if it depresses as if it wasn't locked. Of the Hall of Records? Yeah. Swings open. Well, as polite as I was looking out, I am also curious. Oh, I should... Oh, um... Uh, Mason kind of struggles <laughs> for a couple seconds and then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> pulls out the the like sending stone out of his pocket and whispers a couple things into it. Well, whisper <laughs> into the disco. Athlor's here. He opened the door. No one else is here. It's fine. Don't worry. As you're all in the record hall trying to find Athlor's records, it was Athlor's records, right? Yeah. Sventisco, as her scroll is just copying itself down, so she's not even looking at it. She's gonna pitch in. She's gonna lend a hand. And none of you can find it. None of you have any idea where it is. You're going through things, and it's not alphabetically organized. There's, there's some disorder in here. She stops for a moment. And she whispers back with the sending stone back to you. Okay, keep an eye out. Garnet and Ariana are also here. Not sure why, but they're helping. Hi! <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> no one. And the sending stone only works once a day, right? Yeah. Cool. I, I didn't. I wasn't totally gonna do this on purpose, but I'm kind of doing this on purpose because I was waiting until there was an interlude to tell you that both of you hear the heavy footsteps of an armored warden down the hallway. The mage hand pulls it back <laughs> as calmly as possible. Okay. Roll an arcana uh, check to do that deftly without making too much noise. Ma'am, let's see if I can roll high of a two, baby. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. Trump, Trump, Trump. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Where, where, where is the warden coming from? Down this hallway here. Down that hallway. So we're in between the warden and mm -hmm. the records room. Okay. Yep. That's that's fine. I guess. Oh, I. I thought if you want to go now's the time i'll deal with it i think we can deal with this right oh okay yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh, athelor is going to um pull out the blue wand of honing but we haven't really used in an episode for a long ass time mm -hmm. and just like he's gonna like look intently at mason and then just start like sketching his arrow rune that he uses in the air just mm -hmm. like in, in like, a bit of an alcoved area, so that it's not, like, showing too much light. But it does look like he's just practicing what Mason has done before. Mm -hmm. He's just, like, giving a, a pensive nod and then just, like, doing it over and over again. And Mason, what are you doing? Uh, I think it's, like, <laughs> looking back and forth between what Athlor has just started to do and where Trump. the warden's Trump. coming from. Trump. It's like. Trump. I I guess that's like thinks to himself like I, I guess that's an okay excuse maybe probably not but we'll see I'm just kind of wait till till the warden okay gets around the corner right before the warden rounds the corner we're gonna shift back to the hall of records where all three of these students are searching for Athalors and they can't seem to find it you can't just re-roll but if you can change put something in your favor somehow change your tactic or something you can get another shot at this. The three of you have given it a best effort and you've had no luck. You got anything else up your sleeve? Uh, I, I did some inspiration. Oh yeah, that too. You have an inspiration. You could burn that to Try roll that. again. It would just give you a second roll. Mm. Wow, incredible. An 11 from Ariana. Uh, Do we I have another inspiration, right? From... <laughs> 
from Garnet the card? does Garnet you have the card inspiration um and you've got two inspirations for Garnet as well and you have Noir you want Noir to help you Yeah I was going to say fuck it I should have Noir just <laughs> look. Okay All right Noir uh, is now and don't you have two shadows Oh yeah I have two now so I can roll twice all right, so all of your shadows are searching around, and I'm just going to take this inspiration that chat dealt so that by all of your powers combined in a team effort, uh, you are able to find his scroll. It is also sealed with an unfamiliar, odd violet wax on it. Ariana, you recognize this. This is a, this is a fungus. It's actually a, like a form of a, a fungus that grows in the underdark, deep underground, that, when properly treated, becomes Aww. a powerful adhesive. So would I know how to get it off? Um, yeah. You could use an herbalism check to try to remove it, but it's also got a magical symbol on it. And both of you have been in training recently to recognize this as very, very strong oniromantic dream magic. It's a sleep bomb. what does this do oh do i know you roll an arcana it's a pretty high dc and you don't get advantage on it you just get the chance to make this roll 17 okay this seal has two effects one is a localized dream that affects anybody who's nearby and the other is a dream that travels through the mindscape to reach a particular person's mind. That's what you've been able to decipher from this. <gasps> Garnet is the sage. This has to be the sage. Can I just dispel this shit? What, do you want to test it? I don't think you can dispel it, though, right? You can, it's you, like... you can try. You can try, but it's not going to be a freebie. You're going to have to roll 1d20 plus your spellcasting modifier. To He's got a spell slot for it. this. You All do. right, well, we got an extra one from chat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. No, you did. Let's go. Did. But again, you have to roll 1d20 plus your spell. Do you cast from intelligence or charisma? Uh, I forgot. It's on here somewhere. Let's see. Well, the spell saves DC of 16, 8 spell attack. Oh, intelligence. Okay. So you'd have to roll an intelligence check, not an intelligence save, an intelligence check. Just 1d20 plus your intelligence. So in if order I fail, do I burn the spell slot? Yes. Oh, fuck. Is there any way that I could help? Because it's like the... Do you have a dispel magic? Sventisco does. She does, and she has one spell slot left. Sventisco! She, <laughs> but she doesn't do... She's not... Okay, this is where you can help. You can use her spell... But your guidance, because you've been studying this dream magic stuff, Ariana. So, Ariana, I'm going to have you roll an Arcana check to explain Santisco what to do. If you succeed, then it's going to chat really wants you to get into this file. If you succeed, then chat. No, not chat. Santisco's spell will be efficacious and will be able to add her modifier to Garnet's. Oh, my God. Okay. Basically, arcana? roll arcana. Yeah, roll arcana. Twenty one. Okay. Good enough. She weaves her unbinding spell in tandem with Garnet. Double Wonder Twins power up. You lay hands upon it. Now, Garnet, roll one d twenty, and you're gonna add your spell casting modifier plus three. So I think plus eight. Spell is it spell attack bonus? Is that what? The, or no, is it, oh, just intelligence. Plus. Just intelligence. Okay. So, what's your intelligence? Uh, plus five. How about that? Oh. Or that could happen. <laughs> or that could happen. Uh, uh, we don't even uh. need Spencey's go. Bring a spell slot, chump. All right. So, you unthread the strands of magic entangled like the filaments of a vast fungal life form that have grown incredibly complicated and mingled amongst themselves, you slowly unfurl them until the spell is no longer able to hold together and it dissipates, allowing you to set your hand... Oh, herbalism check to safely remove it because it is uh, slightly toxic. Oh, great. Herbalism uh -oh. kit check, please, from Ariana. That's toxic. I'm nervous. 
Do you have not a mage hand that you could use instead? Oh, that was so close to being a natural one. Yeah, that was oh. scary for a moment. Okay, a 13. Um, you know can the I right... Can use my adaptive die? You can use your adaptive die on this. Yeah, roll 1d4. 18. Okay, remembering the last time you got exposed to some strange toxin, you very carefully remove it with a couple of leaves that are should be immune to it. and You pluck it off. You unfurl the scroll. The warden rounds the corner, sees Mason and Athelor with Mason just sort of standing there and Athelor looking at him and drawing him and is like, hey, no scoodly pooping in the hallways. Uh, Mason will go like, ah, and turn to the warden <laughs> and try to like, f like fake surprise and loud enough <laughs> that Sventisco might hear in the other room. <laughs> Roll a deception check, please. <laughs> try to be startled. 16. Okay. To be startled. Athlor, are you doing anything in combination with this? Athlor's like giving him a look when he says scoodly pooping. <laughs> it's like, this is art. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's past your bedtime. Come on, you two, get out of here. <sighs> well, it would be much easier if we had more, you know, windows in the in the chambers but unfortunately out here there's a little bit more moonlight and it's a lot it's 1 a.m you have classes in the morning your brains are still developing sleep deprivation is detrimental to the development of a young mind i'm an alpha i is can't be sleep deprived <laughs> the tinkling <laughs> points at himself well think about somebody else for a change all right What's your name, kid? He looks over at Mason. Mason? Mason, how are classes going? <laughs> they're okay. Right, they're only okay. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a magical education. And just because you don't need sleep doesn't mean he doesn't need sleep. So be considerate, work together, and go to bed. Yep, we'll do... Go into bed, Mason says loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get perception checks from everybody who's in the room? I would say my passive perception is higher than my perception. Probably. Uh, all right, so you, you managed to hear the, ah, and, oh, go into bed. <laughs> I thought he said there was nobody out there. It's fine. Well, it's fine. Must have changed. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. We'll do this quickly. We just it, it, it's open. Let's let's read it. Or Tisco, you could copy it, and then it's we'll still, take the copy. Mine is still, mine is still going. Okay. He's not gonna come in here. Why would he have any reason to come in here? It's fine. I'm gonna go lock the door just in case. Okay. Do it quiet. Right. No. You know what? Right. Let me do it. You do it. You okay. Handle that. Okay. We'll handle this. All right. Sventisco goes off to lock the door. And do both of you read Alfar or Elvin? Any Elvin dialects? Just Ariana? Hey. I okay. do. Okay. All right. As you start reading Athelor's record. This is not the original record file. Like both of you, your sealed records were the original records that were added to there. This is a recent addition. And it's written by the sage. And it says. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Athalor must be prevented from coming in contact with the hungry dark at all costs. Do we know what that is? Yeah, the hungry dark is everything that's outside of Anakra. Avoid other things. But character knowledge, do we know what that yeah, is? Yeah, you know. You've studied planar oh. cosmology. Do we know he's had... Do I we don't... know if that insect shit was hungry dark? Or do uh, we just think I, that's yeah. insect shit? I don't the know if flesh? you know that. The entity his mind contacted in Dream is a threat to to our entire world. 
And that seems like a good place for us to go to break. That seems like a good place for us to go to break. The tent boil. The woe. <laughs> woe <laughs> unto thee. All right. Back in a few minutes, folks. Don't go anywhere. More Book of Dawn right after this.